Welcome back everybody. Just wanted to uh, make a quick video on a recent uh, gun store consignment buy, buy I found. Uh, these are wonderful old firearms. Uh, not everybody owns one these days because single shot firearms have gone single barrel, single shot, have gone out of vogue. I personally have kind of a soft spot for them just because of their um, old-fashioned kind of look and feel to them but uh, uh, wonderful gun in uh, many respects and we'll go over some of those advantages and uh, it's also in an unusual gauge this is a 16 gauge uh, not as popular today as they used to be and uh, there's a couple of reasons that has happened and uh, but there's a couple reasons they are still viable as a usable gun today. Uh, the first, of course, is obvious. It's self-defense um, would be fine. You can shoot slugs through them. I'm not even sure what the choke on this one is. I would imagine it's a cylinder, but I'm not positive on that. Haven't had a chance to measure it yet. Um, if you pay a hundred dollars for one of these, that's probably the most you ever want to pay. Uh, right now the market on these is extremely low for a collector's gun <laughs> and you for for that sub one hundred dollars you get a nicely proportioned firearm that's capable of shooting uh, shotgun slugs and anything you'd want for upland game deer um, as long as you're confident in yourself in handling just one shot and a reload. But that's part of the appeal of them too. Uh, these 16 gauges have gone out of vogue for a couple of reasons. Let me flip it around while I'm yabbering and we'll do some uh, looking at the close-ups of this gun. But the 16 gauge kind of, you can see the beautiful walnut in this. It fell out of favor. Some some rust on the gun. I'll give you a close up of the roll mark. Explain that in a minute too. But when the move to steel shot came in, uh, the 16 gauge was just not able to handle the payload that it required for a good hunting gun, and so the 16 gauge lost them quite a bit of ground there even though it does pattern generally pattern what better than a 12 gauge will and the second downfall of this gun came I believe was Remington and reintroduced a 16 gauge but they built it on a 12 gauge frame you see a few dings showing its age and when they did that it took away the advantage of the 16 gauge it took away that lightweight advantage uh, the way these used to be advertised is uh, carries like a 20 hits like a 12 so in other words it had the white lightweight feel of a 20 gauge and yet had the uh, the hit power of a 12 gauge well that was lost with the steel shot and again the lightweight carry was lost when they introduced that 16 gauge on a 12 gauge frame which just isn't necessary you can see this particular gun the roll mark on it that's the this was pre serial number days on these old Stevens guns so the only way you can really tell is by looking at the roll mark and get an estimation of when it was built uh, this one was built between 1920 and 1940, which was what that roll mark would indicate. The gun, believe it or not, is in superb condition mechanically. Uh, there's really not that much that can go wrong with them, and they're easy to repair. There are a couple little uh, things that are tough to work on on them. That is, the, uh, the mainspring on the hammer is a little difficult to get out. But other than that, the gun is relatively easy to take apart. Uh, the trigger guard, if you ever have problems with that, the, there's an internal screw that screws the trigger guard down from the inside. You have to completely disassemble the receiver and then use a short angle 
type screwdriver to get in there to take it down um, so if that has a broken trigger guard prepared yourself this is just an alloy trigger guard a cast trigger guard or rather not alloy but cast and if they can be crystallized and broken I've seen that happen more than once so be aware you're going to have a little bit of disassembly to get to that it's not going to be just an easy replacement you can see how fine condition really everything was in this old truck gun that's all it was was a truck gun uh, maybe used a little for hunting too it's a simple brake action get centered in here it does have a an assist in extracting the uh, the spent hull and uh, it does not recock the gun when you close the action you have to manually cock the hammer very fine light crisp trigger pull so if you're in the market for a budget shotgun I would keep your eye out for one of these uh, gun shows used markets uh, places things like that of that nature are going to be the way to find these so very economic now these are available in other other uh, calibers too other gauges uh, I know they make a 12 gauge version of this um, this one just happens to be in the 16 gauge takedown for cleaning is if you've seen other uh, videos on these it's exceptionally easy the forearm is just spring loaded just pops off like that and there's your mechanism for it you can see this gun actually even has a little bit of what we call if you can see right by my fingers there a little bit of fiddle back or uh, f flame in the wood even so they were low priced utility guns in their day and they still are that way they've held on to that but <laughs> they're exceptionally well made and long a good strong life and then you're broken down you just give you a little closer look at the locking mechanism of the barrel it's just a simple back lug that locks in the back of the receiver here you can see when I operate the uh, the lever, I don't know if you can see that well or not. That locking lug moves down and out of the way. Very simple, St straightforward mechanism. You see, my firing pin is just a floating fire pin, firing pin. This has a little groove on it that knocks the firing pin out of the way as it chambers the new round. <laughs> Fairly simple little mechanism. So, there we have it. Uh, what a fun uh, gadget, bun, gun to buy on a budget. Uh, exceptionally good, exceptionally well made for its age. Uh, like I say, this one even has a little bit of patina on it. The color case hardening is 99% uh, gone, maybe, maybe a little less. The finish is completely gone on the trigger guard. And the bluing is very thin and worn but what a fun little lightweight firearm a uh, little bit of recoil because of the lightweight but probably still somewhat less than a 12 gauge in spite of that so so what a fun way to uh, uh, get into a, a shotgun if you want one for self-defense planking you can even shoot a little skeet with with them uh, one shot though you better be a good shot but still what a hoot to shoot all right thanks for watching we'll see you next time